I'm Josh and I play lead guitar and vocals in the band of no name dot dot dot. I'm Sam and I play the bass. I'm Daniel and I play rhythm guitar. Hi, I'm Josh and I play drums for the no name dot dot dot. Hey, I'm Alex and I'm the bassist for Awesome Fawesome. Hey, I'm Pedro and I play piano. Hey, I'm Hayden and I'm the vocalist. My name is Vailala, I play the drums in the Awesome Fawesome. We've got a river near our school and like so many marine reserves. We had to do different and various investigations on fish and the water clarity and what fish to take, what fish not to take. In protected beaches there's way more fish because you can't fish there. Lots of them are getting polluted. We were trying to help it by making a song and trying to get it out there. We all had a passion for music so we thought, oh let's go make an action plan on music. This particular project was um, based around their Y Care uh, projects, so these were kids that wanted to express a message, in this case, seafood conservation. We did a two day workshop with Jimmy and he helped us make the lyrics and all that. He's a really nice guy to work with, but he doesn't really yell much. Like when you stuff up, he goes, Oh, that's sweet, we'll just start again. The kids were encouraged to come up with the lyrics and the chords, and uh, we worked on the arrangement, and melody, etc. These kids were the ones that really applied themselves to it. He gave us some of ideas, so I'm pretty sure without him we would have got nothing. When I walked into the recording lab, I just about fainted because of all the guitars. We're about to record and I'm feeling a bit nervous because I've been on a CD before, but I haven't actually been like in a proper recording studio like this. I was in a different band, but it turned into Custard on the night. They felt sorry for me and put me in Josh's band, so I was quite stoked. <laughs> I don't think he was too stoked. But... Not at the beginning. <laughs> in the band, I took part of being the leader, because I felt that I brought the band together. He thinks he's the total leader, so we just keep it like that. <laughs> how long ago it was but um the shellfish just died away and there was only like a few of them around New Zealand. We had to do a whole lot of research. How many mussels you can take and how many cockles and stuff like this and put it onto the, the second verse of the song. 50 cockles, 10 power, 50 puppies, yeah that's the way I said. Respect the shellfish every day. If not then just go. Well, it was hard rehearsing with each other. Especially when Daniel came into the group, no offense. Me? Really? Because you didn't know the chords. Oh, yeah, that's And I had cool. to teach him it, and it's being very annoying. Arrogant. Me? My guitar. Like, it makes me feel good. Once you've learned lots of basic chords and a lot of stuff, then it starts to be like a different part of you, and if you part from it, then you don't feel the same. Don't be selfish with the shellfish, uh -huh. Don't be selfish with the shellfish, uh -huh. I'd never imagined that I'd be doing this. I was actually really scared at first, but then I overcome my fears of singing in front of heaps of people. I went fishing with my mates out at the Tasman Sea. We had to get the message across to save um, the size snapper and not take too much snapper as well, and um, what to do if you get an undersized fish. We talked about like we shouldn't take undersized snapper and then we were just mucking around and I was just like what a pity and like that and then Bilal and Alex were just like we should have that in the chorus. What a pity, what a pity, I had to let that snapper go. To my surprise, undersized, had to let that snapper go. I went home and searched up the limit size for snappers and then we just put that in the song. Snapper 
you need to know the limit, the size limit. And if you um, take it smaller, you might you might get your bow taken off you. When we came up with those lyrics, Jimmy just helped us with everything else, and then finally we came together and it was ready to perform. Oh my god, that was so good! That was like awesome ass. Yeah. It was nerve wracking, but we got there and we were proud of the end. It was really fun because we weren't actually in class doing working. We were like learning how to play music and learning new chords and all that. It's a good experience coming here, especially if you want to go for a musical career their confidence in both themselves and, and their music, you know, has really, really improved. And it's just, it's just very rewarding working with kids. Once they started getting their heads around what they were doing and, you know, what they could achieve, they really focused and worked really hard. And I think that what they've done today has, has really proved what they're capable of. This has all been made possible by the Auckland City Council, YCARE program from Rodney Environmental Council, New Zealand Music Industries Commission and all the awesome staff up at Maharangi College. Thank you. So don't be selfish with the shellfish and let that snapper grow.